what's up y'all we're out here at the house and i want to show you some of the top picks for christmas stocking stuffers that i think every angler would love to have in their stocking with christmas quickly approaching i think we're within a week now these are some last minute gifts ideas that if you don't have something for your fishermen in the family you can run out to either walmart dugout bait and tackle academy any of those places and grab something for them that they will truly love and be blessed for so without further more let's get into this video number one on the list it has to be tackle these are just a few of the basic um, techniques that i recommend getting your your fishermen in the family um, number one would have to be a jig i love a jig that is a bad boy jig um, you can message them on facebook and order them or if you don't have the time to do that, you can go to Walmart. Any basic tackle store will have a jig of some kind. You can ask them, dugout bait and tackle. You can call them. He'll be, they'll ship it either same day or the next day. And they have a wide range of jigs. Um, another tackle that I suggest, everybody loves a chatterbait. Now this is the brand new Evo by um, Z-Man this is a really cool little chatterbait it's ten dollars ten dollars and it works just as fine at, like the jackhammer that cost fifteen sixteen dollars depending on where you're at and then um, one of the big money makers for me this year has been touring outdoors I'm wearing their hat they're a big supporter of mine and um, I'd recommend the the striker 6-0 the striker 40 or the timber crawl and i don't have any with me i sadly ran out but the thresher series swim baits i love those so they'll be something if you want to get your your loved ones your fishermen in the family some tackle this would be what i recommend i don't know a single fisherman particularly a bass fisherman that does not throw some type of this so this would be a good um, cheap way to fill up a stocking and and it, you can it's a good last minute product because you can run out to any store and get what you need number two on the list has to be the line um, you can have the most expensive rod and reel setup in the world but if you don't have quality line you're not getting that fish in the boat i am such a believer in seaguar they're um They've been a supporter of mine for this year and and i used them for gosh ever since i started fishing really and i've always trusted seaguar to not break when i need them they have a, a braze x which is really good for your bottom contact stuff that's what i use a lot on my jigs and um jigs shaky heads this is 12 pound they they have a wide range then uh they have tatsu which i don't have a small thing of i only have the big one but this can get a little expensive but it's really good line then um they have invisex this is the my favorite line ever it's virtually invisible in the water it holds up really well um actually i was catching the sheep head off of invisex around those bridge pilings in a couple in the last few videos with 20 pound in invisex and i never had any issue and then on all my spinning reels which you saw me catching them i have either i have 15 pound smackdown and then i use 30 pound smackdown on some of my bait casting app application like jig fishing and i'll run a, a 20 or 17 pound leader if you're wanting to get your husband or your your fishing friends something that they would actually use well, fishing line is a great way to get them something that can really ultimately depend on if they're winning or not if you have bad line you're not winning a tournament so check out seaguar you can get that at dugout bait and tackle too number three is just having having a good pair of, of pliers or or scissors makes a big difference um, you can get them pretty cheap 
these are our uh, Bass Pro Shop. I need to get some new pairs. They're kind of locking up. But uh, hopefully, I'll get these in my stocking from somebody this year. Um, having scissors, uh, needle nose pliers, um, split ring pliers, that makes a big... Make, it, it helps a lot whenever you're trying to change treble hooks, cutting line, retying. I love these scissors. That's what I recommend. They're cheap, and it's an easy gift that you can run to any any store really and get a pair of scissors nail clippers get some flour make sure they're i would i would look for kind of like stainless steel where it wouldn't um won't rust or anything it's number three on my holiday stocking stuff we've got number four i'd highly recommend getting a power bank of some kind i actually run my gopro off of this it's got um couple of usb ports it's a tough tested brand i actually bought it at bucky's and uh it's a nice got a uh, two usb ports usb c and a iphone usb um can't remember exactly what it is micro n is what it says kayak tournament we uh, have to upload fish using our phones and if you're out there all day definitely in low um, if you don't have cell service, your phone is just sitting there looking and looking. So you'll die. You'll drain the battery pretty quickly. And I've had some instances where I've gotten low on power and I needed to plug my phone up to submit a fish. So having one of these really, may, really takes the nervousness out of it. And, know, and, and you'll know that you can upload fish. And also, I'll run my GoPro off it. I like it because it's lighter. I don't have to. I don't have a big thing. And that would be number four. It's real easy to stuff in a stocking. Number five on the list. We're going right on down the list. You know, I don't know a single fisherman that does not have a collection of hats in their truck. If you see me, I'll have at least five or six hats in my truck. So number five on the list is a hat. You get your different kinds of hats. Um, everybody, every outdoor industry sells hats. Um, a few of my recommendations is this Fish It Small. He's a really cool guy out of North Carolina. Um, he actually makes um, apparel for the kayak fishermen. Uh, it's a really cool, he's 18 years old and he's running his own business. And so go check him out. It's really cool. He has a whole line of apparel. So on that note, number five could be hats, could be apparel. AFCO makes some good um, hoodies. I love this AFCO Reaper. So these can fit in your stocking pretty easy. Now, if you get in the shirts and all that, it might get a little big. But I'd highly recommend getting your fisherman just some kind of apparel. He loves repping his companies dugout bait and tackle uh, on the water innovation you can uh run out and get some just strike king stuff or you can go to walmart you can go to any place and get a hat or shirts really easy so that's my number five recommendation for a stocking stuffer number six on the list i don't highly recommend getting some cam straps this is the yak attack cam strap you never know when you need a good ratchet strap or cam strap when you're out fishing. Um, I know I've gone, I've gotten in situations that I'm either pulling people and I'll tie this up or I need a, to tighten down one of my straps on the trailer brakes or something. Having these make a, a big, a big improvement in, in really safety and just being able to you go out and buy something big keep a few in your truck my dad's always told me to to keep some cam straps ratchet straps it's always good you know you don't want to be one of them friends that you come over and you load something up on his truck and you're like do you have any ratchet straps and they say no <sighs> so have a couple of these in the truck it's a lifesaver when you need them number seven um, in every one of my videos, you'll see me wearing sunglasses. 
one of these sunglass companies that I absolutely love is the Hobie Eyewear. Um, all their sunglasses actually floats. So when you're kayak fishing, if you, I've lost a lot of sunglasses fishing and if these fall off the top of your head, you'll actually won't lose them because they float. I like these. I don't know the exact brand or the model number, but that's my favorite ones. I like the frames and all that. I wear these religiously. I wear them all the time. And that's for the money. You cannot beat Hobie I wear. They're, you know, you get the Costas and the, the Oakleys. They're $200, $150. These are $100 and they're polarized. They're the best sunglasses for the money, in my opinion. Number eight, one thing that you will never see me fishing without is a PFD, um, life jacket. Um, I'm a big believer in safety in a kayak. And, you know, a lot of things can go wrong when you're either by yourself, when it's cold like it is now. And one thing that I highly preach to anybody is get a life jacket, wear it. Um, I, I kind of coined the phrase, zip it or clip it it could save your life but i'm going to take this chance to i know this is a little big to put in a stocking but if you or your fishing friends or your family don't use a life jacket please please go get a life jacket there's a lot of things that can go wrong and even with a life jacket it still can go wrong but it's one thing that you can delete out of the equation is you have this on um the inflatables like these they're really comfortable i wear them i wear this one 12 12 hours a day and i don't really know it's on me um, this is the bass pro shop brand i think it was 150 dollars it was not it was not cheap but it wasn't real expensive either you can get some of the mustangs that are really expensive and they are really nice but just get you a quality pfd um, this is an automatic with a manual, so either way you want. I like the automatics because if you go into the water, if you're unconscious, you're not going to be able to pull this. So having an automatic kind of helps too. But that's number eight on the list, and really it should be number one on your list. Um, the only reason why I didn't put it number one is because it is a bigger item but it should be always your number one on your safety list before you go out. Number nine. So this can go either really cheaply or you can go as expensive as you want. But I'd recommend, if I could keep it in my hand, a, uh, you can get your fishing friend or loved one a nice reel. I would recommend trying to stay between that 100 to 150 range if you can. This is a uh, Corrado K, which I've actually used it so much, you can't see the name on it anymore. But this is a Shimano Corrado. I really love my Shimano reels. They have the SLX version, which is, if I'm not mistaken, $100. And it's one of the best reels for the money, I think. This is about $180, $200 Corrado. But this is a great little way to, to really spoil your person. And... Um, I'd recommend if you're if you don't know anything about fishing or buying reels to talk to friends at dugout bait and tackle or your tackle shop nearby and they can point you in the right direction so if you're buying something for your loved one or your fishing family I'd recommend getting a seven to one SLX Shimano that's what I'd recommend and here we are number 10 last but not least um, it's not really a stocking stuffer. You can try to put in a stocking, but I could not make a Christmas wish list video without adding a rod. Um, this is a Cash and Icon Jig and Worm rod. This is probably one of my favorite series. It's a seven foot three medium heavy. Um, they actually just came back out with the Elite, which is my all time favorite rod. So if anybody's wanting to get me a Christmas gift, you know what I want. But anyway, um, 
any kind of rod is a good i'd, I'd stick to with a, like a medium heavy seven if you're buying for somebody that uh, you don't really know what you're buying but you can go to any tackle shop and ask and ask for them to give you a seven foot medium heavy rod that you and you can pick between your price points um the, this is like the real it can range from fifty dollars and it can go all the way to five hundred a thousand dollars that's my number 10 pick and i think they would really love it and that's about it thanks for watching um i hope i can help some people if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment in the um, below i love to um, answer anybody's questions and and give you some more ideas this is just a fun little video that i thought about doing um i wasn't able to go to del hollow sadly but I think this is going to be a fun little video to give you all some ideas on what you can do and what you can go and buy. You should be able to go to about any store and get anything I showed you. Being that it's so close to the holidays, I don't know about shipping times, but Dugout has always been very good at shipping. And they usually do a next day, either that day or next day delivery. And um, I've always been able to get my packages within a two or three days. Now with the holiday rush, I'm not sure about that. You can call up there to Marietta, to a dugout bait and tackle in Marietta and, and see what they can do. Um, other than me just blabbing around, thanks for watching and be on the lookout for some awesome new episodes coming up. And with that, I hope everybody has a merry, merry Christmas from my family to yours. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe below.